오빤 강남 스타일. Welcome to episode five of our seven-part series on chapter 13, RNA and protein synthesis. And in this one, we're going to talk about the very important process called translation. Translation is when the protein is actually being made, okay? Uh, we don't have a lot to fill in our notes on this one, but we do have a picture that we're going to write a lot on on the next slide, okay? So let's begin with what is translation? And translation is a process in which a ribosome, and ribosomes are going to be found in two places. They're going to be found in either what is called the rough ER, which stands for rough endoplasmic reticulum. Um, when we get to chapter 7, we're going to learn about how uh, all these cell parts are. Or we're going to have what are called free ribosomes, and these are just actually just floating around in the cytoplasm, okay? Basically what a ribosome is, it's a little protein factory. There we go, got that written there, okay? It's basically just a place where the proteins are gonna be made, okay? Remember, polypeptide, another name for protein. Okay, so let's look at the ribosome in, uh, in detail. It kinda, a great way to remember this is, or, or just how it worked for me, is think of a hamburger bun. The top bun has two bites out of it. Actually, it's got three. We're going to show you what the third one is, but we're going to, we're going to get to that in just a second. And then it's got a smaller uh, bun. Okay, and they got really neat names. So like this top part, that's called the large subunit. And this smaller part down here, that's called the small subunit. If only everything in biology was this simple, every kid would get a, an A+. Plus. Okay, now there's two main sites in this example. In your textbook, and maybe in another one in the future, you're going to get a third site called the E site. And we're going to get to that in just a second. Okay? So the P site, and the P in, in, uh, the P in P site stands for polypeptide. And that's this area right here. And what happens in the P site is we're going to have what is called the growing polypeptide or protein chain. And then in the A site, the A stands for amino acid, and that's where a tRNA is going to come in, and it's only carrying a um, just an amino acid. And then that third site that you see occasionally in some pictures is called the E site. The E stands for exit, and that would actually be a third one right in here, and that would be your E site. Okay, but for our intents and purposes, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to deal with a P site and an A site. All right, let's get rid of that stuff and move on. All right, this picture, um, we're going to draw all over this. There are actually a lot of animations for this on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and you search protein synthesis animation, uh, that would be a perfect place to look at it. Um, if you go to My Big Campus for our class, if you go to the folder under resources that says uh, Chapter 13 Protein Synthesis Songs, you're going to come across a song called the uh, Blame It on the DNA. Uh, that one has a great animation in it. And also, if you do the Central Dogma song, that's going to show you it too. So if you're just watching on YouTube and you're not one of my students, uh, search YouTube, Blame It on the DNA, and then after you watch that music video, search uh, Central Dogma song, and you're going to find some really good animations on this. All right, so let's get down to business here. Let's use blue for this one. All right, so this is your nucleus inside a cell, and what's happened inside the nucleus is we've gone through a process called transcription, where we've already made our RNA. And so what we have here, we have mRNA that's leaving the nucleus. And you notice right in here, that's AUG. What's that? That's the start codon. So that's going to be the beginning of our coding sequence. And here's our ribosome, this blue one, that's the large subunit, S-U-B-U-N-I-T. This yellow part right down here, that will be the small subunit, I-T. Okay, tRNA, if you can remember, it has uh, an amino acid at the top, and then this 
UUU here happens to be called the anticodon. And remember, three bases in a row on mRNA, those are called a codon. So what we have here is this will be our P site and this will be our A site. So this is our stop codon. Here is a anticodon that complements it. Remember, complement means pair up. And at the end of it, if you're going to pair up with AUG, you better be carrying MET, methionine. Okay? So now we have a tRNA in the P site. Now we need to fill a, T, or a tRNA in the A site. So our codon is UUC. The complementary anticodon will be AAG. And if you're UCC and you use that codon wheel, you will code for phenylalanine. Now, here's where dehydration synthesis is going to occur. Okay? We're going to have a peptide bond formed right there. Now, the moment that peptide bond forms, this tRNA is going to leave, and the ribosome is going to click down one spot, which means this guy here will now be in the P site. The A site will be empty. Here comes the next one in, and we're going to be right down in here. Move over to this one. See our growing polypeptide chain? So now we're in the P. There's the A, peptide bond. This guy's going to go bye-bye. Ribosome is going to click down another spot. This guy's going to come in. This will now be the A site. This will now be the P site. Peptide bond. Bye-bye. And we keep going click, 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 click. So here, as we can see, this was the P site. This is the A site. This guy's left. Here's our growing polypeptide. And you see that we have a stop codon right here. Stop codon. No tRNA comes in here, so we cannot make a peptide bond, but this guy is still going to leave, and the ribosome is going to fall apart, and it's going to let go, and this protein is going to go away, and we're done. Okay? Now, you're probably thinking, oh, my God, my head is going to explode. This is so freaking complicated. Okay? It's really not. Okay? I'm drawing something that's two-dimensional. You need something three-dimensional, and it needs to be animated. So, on YouTube, I want you to search Protein Synthesis Animation. There are tons of this stuff on YouTube, and they are fantastic. Okay? A great one to be would be anything from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. They have fantastic stuff but there's going to be plenty out there, all right? You need to do this. Search protein synthesis animation. There are links to this on Moodle, okay? I will probably let me locate some of these and put them on my big campus, but make sure you search for these. You need to see all these moving. I can't make these pictures move. I'm just, I'm limited under this, this keynote presentation, okay? But use YouTube. YouTube is a fantastic place to find information. Somebody's made a video on this, probably better than what I can, and so use those to your advantage. Okay? Now, make sure you rewatch this episode because it's one of the important ones, but do not hesitate to go to YouTube and watch this in animation so that you can truly understand it. Okay? Until next time, next time we'll catch you on the flip side.